Hi, Taurus. Oh, welcome to your reading. I'm so happy you're here today. Reading today's reading is going to be focused on, and again, it's just a red light for my cats. They keep people asking about that. It's a cat light, all right? That's all it is. Anyway, um, today's reading is going to be focused on what you need to know most and what guidance we need. It should be loving guidance. It always is, by the way, but it may not always feel that way. So know that it's coming from a loving place, no matter what. The whole thing, by the way. Um, uh, please don't forget to like and comment and check out my services. I do have live stream meetings for this Sunday. If you are interested, tomorrow, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I get my days mixed up all of a sudden. I have no idea why. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's it. So let's take a look here. I'm going to be drawing tarot right now. I'm a little bit burned out. So let's take a look here. It's for Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Um, let's see. What does I want to ask what this situation's about first, and then we'll take it from there, Taurus. All right. So what what are we what are we talking about? Who's answering? We have Metatron who steps forward. Where the hell has he been? I don't know. We have the King of Pentacles. Uh, ooh. So you keep looking for love, love connections to bring you stability and bring in, I want to say financial stability as well as emotional stability. So you're coming at love from a very destitute kind of desperate sort of way. And I mean that in a like a loving, I have to be honest sort of way. I really do need to be that way. But that's actually what I feel you have going on here. It's like you're looking at... Um, you're, you're coming at situations from an emptier place than you should. And that's actually hurting you and making things a little bit more miserable. I actually want to get clarifiers here. Yeah, things are not changing. Um, you're definitely looking for someone to save you. That's the key here. It's the key thing. You're looking for someone to save you. This could be a job, like a, a, an employer, right? Could be a love person. Could be like familial or like, you know, your life's a wreck or something, right? We've all been in a hot mess stage. I know I've been in it for a little bit, right? We've all been there. Um, whatever your situation is, you're looking for someone to come in and save you from this. Yeah, I have news for you. It may or may not happen. I actually don't know. I didn't check. But it's not what you want. It's not what is best for you. And what's best for you is to find your way out of this on your own and come at these situations from a wholer place, like from a complete place. And this is not really self-love. I, I don't feel self-love issues per se, not yet anyway. I think this has to do with, um, you don't think you can do it. Yeah. You don't think it's possible for you and you don't think that you're you're capable. I have news for you. You are. <laughs> you will never have anything in your life that you're not capable of overcoming. And that is key for you. It's like something you forgot. Uh, they want to, sorry, Medicine wants to say you forgot along the way. I think you forgot it a while ago from you asked me. It feels like it's been a long time. That's It's been gone. And you need to remind yourself. One of the things that has helped anchor me in my life, um, and that was discovering what I've already achieved. Um, in a past life, when I uh, recognized I had achieved unity consciousness, right? It helped me be like, okay, I can pretty much do anything at this point. Because I thought that was real hard. And it, 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 it is, by the way. But that's something that helped me. And a really good way for us to do that is to open up our records or to have someone get an Akashic record reading. Um, that could help you. Uh, I don't know what kind, how you would phrase that question. What have, what what have, I, what have I achieved already in a past life? I know it's an odd question to ask, but when you're like, oh, damn, I did that, right? It helps you understand, I can do this. And that's what you need right now. It's a key one for you. Um, I think that that's what will help you. That's what got me to, to be able to uh, keep going. It was actually a really important uh, step in my journey, um, but that's key for you. You've achieved a lot, and you need to remind yourself that you've done it. Um, but what your situation about is you're looking for someone to save you because you don't believe you can. Okay, that's your message, all right? So let's take a look here. Um, Metatron, he's phasing out a little bit. We're going to see who's going to step forward. We have, let's see. Um, let's see. I think it's going to be Kuan Yin again. Sorry, they're, they're, they've been mixing up on me. Let's see. Uh, let's see a message, a message from the guys. Yeah. Our, we have the fool coming out for what you need to know most. We have the wheel of fortune. Yeah. It's hard, right? To maintain that inner knowing and that optimism and even like being open-hearted and open-minded when the situations don't work out. And I think this happened to you early though. Like, I don't think you had a, like a bunch of them. Maybe you did, who knows? But it, it feels like you hit your limit at some point in the past and it makes you doubt whether it's possible you can do it now, but you need to remind yourself it's possible. I wanna say they've been giving this out, this, the, the blue ones, right? Um, this will help anchor you, but you need a truth though. So that's why I say you need to get one from someone. From, maybe you can visit your past life. Do you know how to do that? Or um, 
Past life regression will work. I've actually never done that, by the way. And that might be helpful. I don't know. But it's something like this. You need to go back to your your past um, and remind yourself what you're capable of so that you know when you face anything in this life, it's not that difficult. I remember I used to, I used to do this a lot. I actually still do. When um, I do core belief updates, I, I remind them what they're capable of. I actually put it in their subconscious. It's a helpful one. And you may want to take a look at that. We have the Ace of Wands here. And then with the five of swords and it's reverse with the bottom being the hierophant. It's interesting. Um, some of how you see your family and what your family has gone through and actually what they have not been able to overcome, you apply that to self, right? You think you are going to be just like them. Oh, they were never financially successful or they never found love or they, 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 they never actually moved out of this town. Whatever the case is, you see yourself in some ways as like, I'm just going to be just like them. Yeah, that's a belief system that you can totally remove. But it's key. Again, the key is what have you already done? And it could be from this life. Um, but I think you need a greater one. I think you need like, like a, like an amazing one that says, "Oh, you did this." I oh, and it's gonna be real cool for you. I can feel it. I guess you're gonna feel like this is gonna. You're gonna know it's truth as well. <laughs> but it's not. It's not the whole point. It just. It just shows you, like, ah, if I could do that, I can do this. And it's that good reminder. Um, we have the six of cups. Yeah, it, it's. It is what it is. It's the good reminder that you need. Uh, with the ace of wands here. Your past resentment and the fact that you've had a lot of failures keeps your inspiration down. In fact, it's just dwindling it. You have no more inspiration. You have no more will to keep going. And that's not going to change until you remind yourself what you're capable of. But I think it, it's in your past. Um, uh, sorry, who gave that? Sorry, I don't know who gave me that message. But some of you have a block that you can't see yet. Because you move your move through that block to see that vision or to have that inner, to have that done. She may need a karma clearing as well. Yeah. Um, or something like that. Let's see. Um, we have decisions. Mm -mm -mm -hmm -hmm. I, I know you don't trust yourself. I know it. I can feel it. Um, I know I can feel it. It's a, it's a strong resonance there. We have feelings. <laughs> I can really feel that one. And then we have blessings coming through as well with love. A love and a truth vibration are adjacent. But the problem here um, that we have, the problem that we have with you, um, with the decisions, feelings, and blessings, um, as I feel, I feel it's hard to trust the self and it's hard to believe that oh, the good things are for you. And that is, it's, hmm. You know, someone did give that, but I don't actually like that. Someone said, "Sorry, I remember." Uh, some someone said, "Just ask for a, a miracle." I don't want to say that today because I don't. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think a miracle is enough for you. I think you need true truth vibration hitting your ass. <laughs> that's what I feel like to me. And I think your only way you're gonna get it is going to the past of yours. And we have the inner knowing. It's like you you need something like that to shake it. Um, it's a hard one. I can see this as being key. Um, they recommend like maybe. Yes, they recommend maybe um uh like maybe going to Etsy. Um, I have uh Catherine the tax info there if you want her, but they recommend Etsy. Etsy seems to be the one for most of you. Is okay. Let's take a look here. What is the what else do they need to know? Like, is there anything else that actually we're going to be switching decks? Sorry, I don't. I it's been so long since I used tarot, but I really exhausted my gifts recently. All right, let's take a look here. Um, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Uh Anyway, sorry, let's see, just phased out again. Let's see. Uh, we have the temperance here. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. It's interesting. Um, I don't really think patience is your issue, but I actually think in some ways it is. Uh, I think you need to stop and pause to see things for a minute. I know it's a crazy thing to say, so I think you wait a lot. We have the empress. Um, I don't think you think that, though. It feels like you do, though. We have the page of swords in its reverse. And then we have the two of pentacles with the sun in its reverse. You know, things may not um, be looking that great right now, um, but there is still the sun. It's like a cloudy day. You know, the sun's there, right? It's just behind the clouds. There's something that there's happiness just behind something or just, um, uh, I don't know. Like it, it's like it's 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 not out of reach. It's just it, it's not necessarily visible. And you need to remind yourself that it's there. The happiness is there, and the possibilities are there. And I want to say the potential. I think it's a good one for you. And I, a lot of you are going to be starting a new job, but I see you start starting your own business. That's what it feels like to me. And again, Etsy's the one that you normally have those right, the smaller businesses. So keep yourself open to that. Do you have an idea that you feel like you can workshop or sell stuff? Try it. Um, 
see if your heart's content. If it is, it's great. If it's not, try something else. Just keep trying these things and you will, you will, you will manifest. The page of sword in its reverse is you have a lot of doubts. It's interesting. I see an energy hitting your third eye that's keeping you from believing in yourself. So you want to take a look at that and you want to make sure that you are being more honest about what's oppressing you as well. Um, I think that's it. I, I want to see. Let's take a look at really quick what's holding you back. So I, I did get some of it, but I want to make sure I, I, I have more clarity on that. Um, sorry, this is when you draw tarot. It's, just, it's not the best for answers. Anyway, we have the hangman. Mm. There's something that you keep looking at, but it's not the case. Sorry. You, you see a specific situation you've gone through from your past that is not accurate. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give you a good example for this. And then do you, I, I, this is not something that's going to be easy to, to hear, but let's say you had a troubled childhood with your family, right? And you look at that and think, I shouldn't have had to go through that. But let's be real. We all know we choose some of these things for ourselves. And I know it's crazy, right? Um, you're going to be more honest about some of these things. There's something about your past that you look at as like, a one way, but I think there's other angles. And it's not that your truth is wrong. It's not, it's not the whole truth. And they would like you to look at it from different angles. I see four actually, but I don't think you need to do four. We have the queen of swords. Yeah. It's, it's your mind. It, it doesn't want to see things from another perspective and it's what's holding you back. It's the key one, but it has to do with the situation. Um, we have the nine of cups coming out. Mm-hmm. You look at it as it could have gone better, and that's true. Um, but you're not looking at what you gained from that experience, and that is what you needed most. You didn't need a happy experience at the time, right? You, what you need is a lesson, right? and I know that sucks. And don't think I'm sitting here thinking, like, you lo I love these lessons when they pop up. You love them after, right? You love them after. With the hermit here um, <laughs> and the six of swords, you need to go deeper and look a little bit, look at different angles. One of the good things that I've done before is you put it on a pedestal, whatever the situation is, or this idea or person or feeling, and look at it from different angles. Like it's a sundial. I don't know if that's what it is, but you look, you just turn and look at it from different angle in your mind's eye. That is a helpful one. It's a real, actually a real nifty one to do as well. And stop and then look at it. What is that? What, what am I not seeing from this angle? And you will see it. All right. Um, that's a transmission, by the way. I, I just gave it to you. Um, they just, sorry, they just wanted me to really recognize that for a moment. Let's look at your guidance. What is the loving guidance right now when it comes to Taurus and what Taurus is currently dealing with? We have Galactic Healer. Um, this is move forward with an open mind. This is key. That's what I was saying. I know, I know, I know that it's, it's a hard message to get, but you needed to receive this one. All right. We also have sacred divinity. There are two paths ahead. One path you repeat. The other path is new expansion. You got to decide about that. This is key for you as well. And they really want me to focus on an image. I don't know what the hell's going on there, but they want you to see that. Um, we have shield your energy. Um, look beneath the surface. This is interesting. Um, I felt something hitting your third eye, and I, I really want to emphasize that. Like, I felt like it was oppressing you um, or making you see things a certain way. This could be a curse, um, or it could be someone who's hurting you that's been hurting you. So you got to look at that a little deeper. Um, I think there's someone who's out to get some of you. It, it, I know I don't like saying that, but you know how some people, some people's energy is like that, right? Um, we have between worlds, new directions. Yeah. Um, with this between worlds, it's reminding me that you need to separate yourself from what the old way of being to enter the new way of being. And you will do this. I actually have been very successful at this. So this feels like a month. Right? Um, we have hidden realms, create consciousness. Oh, conscious awareness this is interesting. Um, I think this is a reference to you seeing things from different angles. The hell was that? Sorry. I started to chirp <laughs> from different angles. All right. Um, I think I, I'm thinking about done. Let me take a look. Is there any last thing? So I'm gonna have a message for a very special someone. Let's see who, who's, uh, I don't know who this message is for. It's gonna be for a very special person. We'll see who, who's this message for, it's, or not who, what is the message about? We have acceptance, that's interesting. Uh, we have patience here as well. And then we have gentleness. Um, the message for the very special person right now is to accept things as they are so that you can actually um, uh, open yourself up to new choices and possibilities with this be spontaneous. It feels like, um, and again, this is not in reference to what I just talked about. This is a completely different message. It's for someone who needs to hear it. The message here is like, let me accept, like this situation sucks. Let me accept that it sucks instead of keep trying. And then let's see what else opens up for me. You're going to have something brand spanking new open up for you in a new direction. You're going to be very content with that. But the problem here with that be spontaneous is you may, um, 
it's if you're not accepting, you won't be spontaneous. So they want you to make sure that you are being more honest about your current circumstances in your life that are holding you back so that you can actually let them go. A really good example for this, and especially on YouTube, especially for the tarot, which I'm actually drawing, um, is a lot of people hold on to someone from the past that is keeping them from possibilities in their future. And your message here, and that's just an example, right? I'm not saying it's that one. It could be a job as well. Probably, it feels like it's that, by the way, for most of you. is be like, this job isn't right for me, or this job isn't paying enough, or I'm not happy here. You need to accept that so you can open yourself up to what else you can do instead, right? And again, they're bringing me back to the Etsy shop or something like that. So be open. Um, so those possibilities. And I want to thank you, Taurus. Don't forget to like and comment and check out all of my services and live stream readings and take care. Bye.